Hi, uh, this is Brian from Surefire Studios. Um, I'm going to do a video today. Uh, it's going to cover a couple different things in um, Personas uh, Studio One Pro. I have also um, got a couple pictures I'm going to uh, put on uh, in the video later on at the end. It's going to show some mic placements from a friend of mine who has a studio up in New Jersey. Anyway, um, the first thing I want to do here uh, today is I want to show you guys a um, what I would call a, a, a Q-Mix or multiple headphone uh, uh, mixes. Or as they're in Presonus, they're called Q-Mixes. Um, I'm going to show you how to set them up. Um, again, I do these videos as I learn things. I'm not a professional engineer or a uh, producer or anything like that. I'm just some guy that bought some equipment and I'm trying to figure out how to use it. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube and um, I read the manual and uh, I take advice from anyone that's willing to give it to me. And I make these videos to just sort of try to take some of the knowledge that I have gained and uh, help other people out. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I've already got a, uh, a template that I, I have um, based on my uh, Personas Fire Studio project, FireWire interface. And um, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the detach, attach icon right here. And over on my second, and the reason why I do that is because I have two monitors. And my second monitor comes over here. So now I've got all of uh, the things that were down here over on my second monitor. All right. Now, the first thing I want to do is you'll see right here I have out 3, 4, out 5, 6, out 7, and 8. Okay. Um, with the um, Personas Fire Studio project, I can have up to four different, you know, outs. So right here uh, that that includes the, the the main the main out okay anyway the way that you get these individual headphone mixes going once you have this is um you want to go to your IO right here and you want to go to audio IO setup okay then you're gonna have this right here you've got your inputs and outputs and you simply all you have to do is go to outputs and uh, your main out you can enable it for a Q mix and what, what, what that do is the Q mix that allows anything that you've recorded or are recording to come through for headphone monitoring or monitor monitor if you've got studio monitors or speakers whatever it'll then uh, project those out of those uh, those monitors okay now what we're going to do is let's say output three and four. You want to have a stereo out left right. Outputs five and six. You want to enable that, and output seven and eight. Okay. So now I've got four mixes here that I can route accordingly. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rename these. So let's say. Um, I'm going to rename uh, the output 3, 4 to guitar. I'm going to take output 5 and 6, and I'm going to name that vocals. And output 7 and 8, I'm going to name that drums. All right, so now with my interface that I have, uh, the, the, the Fire Studio project, I don't know how it's going to work for other interfaces or other ways of recording, but for how I have it, is I will now go to the back of my fire studio uh, and I will take uh, uh, just a regular instrument cable from output number three or four whichever one and I will plug that into my auxiliary mix or my auxiliary in on my power uh, my power amp or my headphone power amp which has four inputs in it so the guitar will go from three into that into one of the inputs there. I'll take my my five or six, put it into another one in seven and eight, and so forth. Okay. 
then you click apply and what's happening here is it is processing so you can see all these names changed B guitar vocals and drums is all changed so now what you can do is um, let's say I had a bunch of tracks recorded let me do this I'm try this there we go These are just a couple different. Probably okay. Anyway, so what I've got now is I've got uh, three tracks um, dropped into three tracks on the uh, the record on the recording interface. So what will happen now is, let's say the guitar player says to me, "Hey, dude, I want my guitar to be so you know up in the mix." Okay, so what you know at, at that point. Let's say for the the mix on the, the guitar for the the guitar track, he wants more guitar. So I would give you know, depending on where it's at, I would take it there. For the let's say the the bass, he says, well, you know, I really don't need the bass. So for the guitar mix I would turn the bass down and then for the vocal you know he says well you know what it's really important for me to hear what I'm doing so I might cut the vocal down a little bit let's say I had a kick here and he says yeah man get, give me give me kick so I can feed off of that I can turn the kick up and again all of these that are across the bottom here whatever it says kick snare that's what I'm adjusting here uh, level wise so let's say he says, you know, you want snare. I don't need the overheads so, to be so loud, so I could cut those back, you know, and that that'll take care of those. And what will happen is across the board, the top here, the, uh, for the guitar, he's I can make a custom headphone mix with the levels that the guitar player wants. The same for the singer. Let's say the singer wants heavy vocal. Okay, I go to vocal, turn it up. Oh, I don't need the bass. Da -da -da -da. The guitar's too loud. All right, cut the guitar back. You know. Anyway. Also, um, on uh, let's say you have uh, in this case, I got overheads left and right uh, stereo pair. What I can do is I can uh, select each one by uh, clicking on one and then holding shift and clicking on another one, then right clicking on both tracks and make them a group. So now anything I do is in a group pair you can see the sliders are all moving left and right the reason why the the guitar slider is not moving is because i've already made an adjustment on it therefore it is independent of anything i do here because this is considered master mix what i'm doing here all right let me put those back to zero not that it matters i mean but okay and also when you do create a new uh out a send or an output um, it will all your levels will default to whatever they are set at in the mix and in, in, when you adjust it then at that point it becomes an independent Q mix okay all right we got all that done uh, and at that point there's really nothing to do Q mix wise I mean whatever the guy says he wants you know you, you can give him that way um, inputs this is where I, I see my, where my levels are at. Uh, let's say I've got, uh, you know, the drums. Input one is kick, two is snare, three is three, four, five, and six are toms. One, two, three, and four. Uh, seven may be overhead left, overhead right for seven and eight. And what will happen is once the drummer starts playing, then these levels will start going off. And I can gauge, you know, you know where, where certain... Uh, microphone may be hotter than another turn it down and that's so that's what I do there at inputs um, let me see what else uh, I think that's all I really wanted to get into today on this one I have another part of the video that I'm going to splice into here which is a live video of showing some mic placement as well as showing some uh, photographs um, and uh, if there's anything else that I can think up between now and then, I'll attach it to the end of this video. All right. Thank you very much.